Hello. So, um, we're going to be doing another little quick, easy recipe. We're going to be cooking spinach artichoke chicken dip. So, right now I'm going to go ahead and do, uh, clean up my uh, spinach leaves, get the chicken cut up, um, get the artichokes diced down, get a little bit of onions, get those kind of clear through on a frying pan with a little bit of butter, shred my cheese and everything. And I'll walk you through the process one, one thing at a time. Right now, the missus back here is actually making us keto tortilla chips. Fat head dough. Fat head dough, which is basically just mozzarella cheese melted with almond flour. Almond flour, it's simple and easy. And they're really good. <laughs> really tasty, really tasty. So right now let's go ahead and get the spinach clean. I want to get all the fresh ingredients done before I start working with the chicken, which will be the last. And then we'll show you how to mix it in a bowl and walk you through uh, the temperature and everything else. All right, so let's get started. So we got everything cut up right now. I have a um, a pan with a little bit of butter melting right now. We're gonna just uh, make these translucent onions a little cooked. And after that, we're gonna go ahead and get everything into a mixing bowl right here. We're gonna show you how to mix it all up and then show you the pan and uh, yeah. So let me go ahead and take care of these guys. Gotta hear the butter uh, boiling so it doesn't burn. Put our onions slightly, you know, uh, cooked, not all the way, you don't want to fully brown them, you just want them to be a little translucent, a little tender. So what we're going to do now, we're going to add uh, about uh, two, maybe, what is it, two cups? Two or, cups? Uh, sorry. <laughs> Gracious, uh, we're going to add two, uh, a tablespoon and a half, or just a, and a half big scoop. A big scoop of mayonnaise, and then we're going to go ahead and add uh, artichoke, we're going to add the cream cheese, uh, our shredded Mott's uh, Monterey Jack uh, right here. Uh, we're going to lose uh, almost all of it. We're going to keep a little bit off the side. We're going to show you what we're going to do with the rest of that a little bit uh, later. And then we're going to add a little bit of Parmesan along with the spinach right now, which is actually drip drying in our uh, sink right now that I've cleaned and washed off. And then we're going to add the chicken. And then we'll show you the finished product before we put it into uh, our little cooking tray. So let's get started. <laughs> One, one, one big scoop, one and a half big scoops. Yeah, there you go. There's your one and a half big scoops of mayonnaise. Okay. From our giant mayonnaise jar. Throw the onions in here. Artichoke. Now we get quarter artichokes and then we dice them up a little bit. You can get whole or whatever, whatever fits your fancy. Some Parmesan cheese. Uh, Monterey Jack. You can also use mozzarella. We're gonna save this much off for later. We'll show you that in a bit. And now we're gonna begin mixing. Also, make sure you take off all types of jewelry and make sure you don't have any like fake nails extensions and stuff like that because you do gotta crunch. Or you can use a spatula to yeah. do that, but we find it more efficient to do it this way. Yeah, it, it, it's better this way. And it's funny. Yeah, it's funny. So. I'm on the other side of the camera, by the way, um, ripping up some of the spinach so yes. they're not giant layers. Yeah, so she'll be bringing that over in a little bit, and then uh, she's going to help me while my hands are in this. She's going to add a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and some fresh garlic. So, feeling good mixing it around. Fact about me, I never really liked onions, let alone artichoke hearts. Or spinach. Or spinach. Uh, my palate has changed in the last couple of years. Those that know me know my style of eating. <laughs> it was damaging. <laughs> How you doing? 
Good. I'm about to add. A ch I'm gonna need you to pour the chicken in here because sure. I don't want to go ahead and. Do you want the spinach right now? Yeah, and then throw the spinach over here afterwards. Okay. So. Well, let me come to the other side. Yeah, there you go. Come around. After that, she'll. Um, after I get the spinach and everything in there, we're mixing around. We'll add some salt, pepper, some fresh garlic or powder, whatever you guys like using, and then uh, we'll show you our finished product. Just about a mixing. Coming in with the spinach. You got it? Yep, go ahead. We use just almost a pound of spinach here. Uh, it looks like a lot, it's gonna feel like a lot, and even these leaves still look pretty big, but... It all cooks down. It all cooks down, it's also, so good. Also, canned spinach is okay, it just makes your this dip very wet, even if you do push and drain as much as you can out of that water, it's just, it's just a lot of wetness. We prefer fresh, more than anything. Ooh. Ooh. Do you need me to get some? Okay. okay, and a little bit, I'm gonna need you, and there goes another piece of spinach. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll get your hand in just a minute. Well, not only that, but we gotta add, start adding some salt and a little bit of pepper. Oh yeah, salt and pepper. Salt's right here. Pepper's right here next to the garlic. Okay. And you got a spoon for the fresh garlic. Okay, I'll come to the other side. Okay. Yeah, I think it's here. Okay, let's start with garlic first, which we measure that with love. Measure this with your heart. Okay. Nothing else. We got this at Costco. Usually lasts us about two or three months and then it's gone. Okay? Yep, that should be good. About two and a half tablespoons ish yeah. of garlic, but again, you measure that with your heart. Yes, you do. The Nothing beautiful else. thing about this is as you're cooking it, it helps the garlic bloom and it gets more, it, the taste gets richer. That's pretty much it for us. Should be enough. You don't need a ton of salt in this just because uh, the cheese is super salty. That and the artichokes. 100 years later! You know what's funny is that we have pre ground. I don't know why I'm eating this. That's gonna be good. Okay. Thank you. So cold. Next favorite part is. Oh, I gotta go to the other side again. <laughs> Dang it! The long way around. Okay. Here's one. Clean off my hands. Mm -hmm. So otherwise, I'll have too many ingredients stuck to it. Dang it. Yeah. It's free hand massage, too. It does feel kind of nice. Yeah. There you go. That one. Mm -hmm. Oops. Sorry. Like I said, you could do the entire mixing with a mixer or even or with just a spatula, but again, we find that the um, this is just like the most efficient way to do it. Yeah. If you do use a mixer, Hi. use the paddle. Yeah, use the paddle. Don't use the whisk. Don't use the hook. The, the hook. All right, you should be good to go. All right, cool. I'm gonna go wash my hands. She's gonna actually go ahead and uh, transfer this into the little bowl right there. Yep. The only problem we've had with this as we do it has been um, water content and that's just because of the spinach and the artichoke if you don't fully drain your artichoke well enough it can kind of kind of be nice also i hate cooking shows that don't like scrape out the bowl because you want to get all of everything you mix <laughs> We are not a like throw anything away type of people. Obviously. All right. So then you just smooth it down. Then we're gonna top it with some aluminum foil, and it goes into the oven at 350 for about. What do we do 30 minutes. Yeah, 30 minutes. That's the, What's that? Excuse you. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> for about 30 minutes, and then uh, you take off the. Uh, foil and then bake it for another like 10 to 15 with extra cheese uh, layered on top kind of like other casseroles Yeah, like what we have left. That's what the leftover cheese is for. It's, it's actually started as a dip But it is definitely a casserole now. Yeah, All right. Sorry. I just really want this even so that it cooks evenly. Okay, all done okay. Oh 
Also, make sure you put holes in here so that way any steam it doesn't rise up and uh, pull it away. So, there we go. I got a knippy. There we go. It's like yeah. a thousand holes in it. I love it. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and put this in the oven and we'll be back with the finished product and mm, show you how to. 35, 40 minutes. Yep, pretty much. <laughs> so these are what we call. Fathead dough. Fathead dough chips. <laughs> I'm being uh, sternly looked at because I put some behind the door and I fell and kind of trapped us out of the pantry. Get behind the door. Okay. <laughs> so these are very, very simple. Um, you were seeing her in the background as she was doing that, but this way. Easy. Mozzarella cheese on the flour. 15 minutes in the oven. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's all good. So. You can season them however you want yeah. to. Easy. The salt, pepper, a little bit of garlic. You can make them hot, put chipotle powder on it. Whatever you want to do. We keep it simple. A little bit of salt. So. Mm. Mm. Oh, here she comes. <laughs> Here's my version of a TikTok. If we don't have TikTok, I don't really under like I understand it, but I'm just not on it. Here's my version of a really really bad version of it right here. One brick of mots, make it melty, give it a stir to make sure all bits are equally melty. Half a cup of the good stuff. Yes, my hand is about half a cup. Stir it up. If it gets too tough to mix, put it back in the microwave for 10 seconds. Set your oven to 350. After it's well mixed, toss out the bowl. Ah, it doesn't come out! What am I kidding? Grab it out of the bowl like a monster. I just did. And then it roll it out. Now cut it. I cut mine into strips, but you can cut it into whatever you want. And then we choo, 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 cut some chi ups. Stack them. And then put them on your baking sheet which has been covered by parchment paper or a sail pad like this, and then just put like as many as you could possibly fit on these because they don't spread, and then go. Enjoy the nostalgia feel of going to a subway and peeling apart the provolone slices because that's exactly what it feels like and I love it. It filled, and now some salt. Put it in the oven. Bye, bitch. See you in 15. Dance break. And then you go. Yummy. We just got this out of the oven. We're gonna go ahead and put the last of the cheese on top, throw it back in the oven, just to get a little nice little melt and slightly brown. And then we're done with our chicken artichoke dip. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Ooh, yeah, it looks good. A little, a little bit more. Now, you don't need to put cheese on it. We like putting cheese on it. Just to give it a nice little layer on top. So. So that's it right there. So now I'm going to go ahead and put this in the oven and then I'll bring it back out to show you the finished product. So be right back. Ta-da! As you can see, it's still a little bubbling. I'm going to close the oven here. So this is the finished product. Chicken, spinach, artichoke dip. Mm -hmm. So we're going to let it cool for a second. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and put some in a container because I actually got to go to work right now. But uh, yeah, this is going to be hold us over for a couple days, possibly two. 
but it's a good thing you can cook it for meals for snacks heck even for games if you got people over it's a great dip for everyone because everyone loves sp the spinach article dip you just add chicken to it so good yep so with that being said hope you guys enjoyed this nice little quick cooking video and uh we'll see you at our next home vlog cooking adventure